Hey guys, it's Mike the Scrapper. I got a request or a few requests on how to tell the difference between stainless steel and aluminum. All right, I'm gonna show you this mug. Kind of looks like aluminum. Kind of looks like stainless steel. Put a magnet. Doesn't doesn't stick to the magnet. Got a piece here. Another piece. Again, doesn't stick. How can you tell the difference between these two? Here's a knife. It sticks. Now I'm going to show you what's the difference, how to tell the difference between stainless steel and aluminum with a grinder. Hey, if you have one of these grinders, <clears throat> perfect. You, you know a place that has a shop that has one of these, if you don't have one, this is how you test aluminum, this is how you test stainless steel. Now, I'm going to turn it on, I might have to yell a little bit. <clears throat> Alright, we're going to use the mug. We're going to put the mug here. See those sparks? That's steel. Okay, that shows you right there, that's stainless steel. See this little piece right here? No sparks? That's aluminum. All right? The knife, remember the knife that was magnetic? That's steel. All right, guys? That's one of the easiest ways to tell if something's aluminum or stainless steel. See that? So the sparks, but it doesn't attract to the magnet. That's because this is non-magnetic stainless steel. They add um, nickel and I think it's chromium to the metal <clears throat> to make it non-magnetic. This is why it's worth more money in your scrapyard. So if you have non-magnetic stainless steel, take it to your scrapyard and separate it from your regular steel. They'll give you more money for this stuff. All right, except for the knife. See the knife? They'll just throw this in your uh, steel pile. All right, and then you have your piece of aluminum. All right, that's how you can tell the difference between stainless steel and aluminum. All right, guys, check me out, facebook.com slash Mike the Scrapper. Till then, guys, peace!